With the Data Color Light Color Meter app, you get all the measurements of your lights in real time on your smartphone. First up, we need to download the app from the App Store. The app is available for iOS and Android. Once we have downloaded it, we are going to start up the app. Then we have to turn on our Bluetooth and allow the app to search for different devices. Once we have installed the app, we're going to turn on the light color meter with the button on the right side. Once we see our light meter in the app, we just have to hit connect. Then it says connecting and we can see our connection as well as our battery of the light color meter. Now that we are connected, we can choose what mode we want to use our light meter in. Do we want to use it for measuring flashes for photography or do we want to measure the ambient? So now, whenever I do something to the light meter, it automatically shows me the values which are measured in real time. The app features a lot of different viewing modes so we can choose whatever suits our needs best. First, we have the option to measure our exposure with a classic exposure meter. Then we have the option to view simple color, which shows us our color temperature measured in Kelvin, as well as our color shift. Depending obviously on where I position the light meter, it shows different values. The next viewing option is RGB balance. It shows the difference between the three different color channels, red, green and blue. Our color graph is also a good way to see where our lights are positioned. But my favorite one is actually the chromaticity as I can see a lot in there. If you have the need to measure different lights simultaneously, you have the option to connect multiple light meters into one app. Now let's say you have a softbox and an LED panel, both set to, for example, 5600 Kelvin. But are they really? For this example, I'm going to put the dome inside so we can measure a spot light. And we can see our softbox is reading around 5690 Kelvin at the moment, while our LED panel here is measuring at 5270 Kelvin. Now the strange thing is our LED panel is actually set to 5600 Kelvin, but that shows the exact problem we have with a lot of LED lights. Even though it's stating 5600 Kelvin on the backside on the LED screen, it is not actually 5600 Kelvin, it's 5200 Kelvin. So we need to adjust that to match our softbox here. Now both our lights are balanced and we don't have any color casts anymore. Let's say you have two lights. One of them is able to be balanced and the other is not. Then you want to take the measurement of the light you can't balance first. And then obviously you match the light you can balance towards the light you can't. And then you have a perfect balance between both lights and you should get a very nice picture in the end. In general, this is not only important in light setups like this one, but also when you film with daylight from the outside and an artificial light on the inside. Let's say you're shooting an interview in an office with both daylight as well as an LED panel, for example. Without measuring the color temperature of the outside light, you have no idea how you should balance the inside light of the LED. Knowing the color temperature from the outside daylight, you can perfectly balance the inside light to match and you will have a beautiful setup in the end. 